Okay, welcome back to depression-youarenotalone.com. To my right is the lovely Lou. Say hi, Lou. Hi, Lou. I'm Shannon, and behind the cameras is the infamous John that will not say hello. So here we are, and take it away. Take it away. Today we're going to talk about uh, kindness. We've done episodes that pass about kindness, but I don't think you could ever talk too much about kindness. Um, especially, and I We're think talking about animals today, and about animals too, especially about animals. For example, I am just totally wiped out because last night our animals, our pets, don't just sleep in bed with us; they have to sleep up against us. Yeah. So to my right, I had our rat terrier up against me, and to my left, I have two cats up against me. They don't just sleep in the bed. They have to be on top of me and then slide down, so they're totally up against me. One of them was all the way in my face. <laughs> and then I wake up in the middle of the night. Oh, one of them, the, one of my black cats likes to be covered up, so when I roll over in my sleep, it wakes me up because i got to cover them back up again. Right? Cheekies. That's what we do when we are parents of beautiful animals. That's what we do, and we just spent a lot of money this week, too, at vet bills. Oh, so much. Uh, for them, but... Gotta do it. They're like our children. So yeah, they're not like our children. They are our children. Right. And then, actually, they're probably better because they don't leave home and then ignore you. <laughs> or or right. put you in the home when you get old. Yeah. yeah. So drinking some, some caffeine to try to wake up. Um, you know, Shannon and I watch a lot of... Um, YouTube animal channels? Yeah. Like the Dodo. Right? Dodo's a good one. Dodo's a good one if you love animals. Um, it's just amazing what you can see on there. And I was just thinking of the kindness I've seen that we've seen, and you've seen them too on the videos, yeah. where, you, where people will find a little squirrel, looks like a mouse, looks like a well, rat, a baby squirrel. Yeah. They'll bottle feed it for di every three hours, for days. They go without sleep to save that little creature's life. Yeah, I would too. I just um, haven't been able to get out. I have my hands on a squirrel. <laughs> uh, chicks. Chickens, I mean, Birds. the kindness that people show. And then you have people that are the complete opposite, right? If they could, they would shoot it. Oh, just for kill fun. It. I remember this is horrible. I I'm got a say. finger for them. This is horrible, what I'm going to say. I remember there was a mom with baby ducks one time. Baby. Oh, I don't want to hear this. And the car, they were driving down the road, and one guy actually swerved to run over the baby, the baby That's ducks. Didn't, uh, that was yeah, actually purposely that. did it to run over the baby ducks. Yeah, yeah they do that. So anyway, on the, on the other side of this, well, we we can. We're talk, talking about kindness. That's not kindness. Yes, we're going to talk about kindness. We're going to talk about there are many people that are not, and we need to realize the difference, right? For uh, protect ourselves, yeah. because there's an advantage. I think. I don't think I know it. I know it. I think you'll agree. You guys will both agree. When you have a few years under your your belt, you've experienced more things. In theory, yeah. You've met more different types of people, right? Um, when you're 16, 17, you're naive. Things shock you when you get to this point in life. Um, not a lot of things shock you anymore. Let's, get, let's go make a point. When you're 16, 15, 16, you don't know crap. Just the way it is. No, you don't know a hell of a lot, but don't tell a 15 or 16-year-old that. Because yeah, they, they, they know, know everything. Else. But it just... The kindness I see on these on these videos on YouTube is is just amazing and heartwarming. Oh my God, it's um, it's amazing, and it gives you such a good feeling watching it. Even if you had if you come home and you had a bad day, I don't know whatever. If you come home and had a bad day and you click, go on YouTube and you click on these animals, whether they're birds, some of these birds are hysterical. Um, dogs, cats, whatever. Uh, we saw the the lion one, the um, the cougar. What is it? A cougar? The cougar. cougar. Yeah, yeah Rusty, it's just right? incredible. It's, it, it's, it's, it's incredible what what's on there, and it puts you in a really good mood. Well, it puts to me, me me in a good mood. To me, it puts me in a good mood too. But I don't just look at it as the animals are cute. I look at the kindness that these people, you know, they're how kind they are. They're what they out do, there. What they do. What these people these do. These people are saving out there. deer and sa I mean. Elephants, Animals everything. that are trapped, 
like from a landslide or yeah. something like that. And these people jump in, sometimes even risk their own and life. And they get crazed. To oh save God. an animal they don't know. Because they, they see the animals a dam, in trouble. A dam, and the water was going down, and they saved a dog. Oh, all kinds of stuff. You know, it's, it's like to, you know, it's sad to say that in, in Turkey and in Syria there was obviously the major earthquake and I think the death toll is what over 24,000 yeah people. I think it's reached over somewhere it's reached and, it's, and obviously it's going to climb oh yeah as they find more people uh, but you see people they're digging and digging and digging from many countries a bunch of countries many countries and you know it's like here too let's say here because we live here happens all over the world when we've had hurricanes and people are stuck on their roofs yeah yeah. And it can be it can be black people stuck on their roofs, and there could be white people on a boat. They see them, and they're going to do everything they can to rescue yeah. them. Yeah. They're not asking them what political party do you belong to mm -hmm. before I help you. Doesn't matter. What what po party affiliation are yeah. you? Or this no. people react. Or what god do you? you know? What religion are you? Mm -hmm. People don't ask. Doesn't matter they who you just are. react. Yeah. It's it's a like a gut instinct. Oh, I can't walk away from this. I ha we have to go help them. Unfortunately, it's not like that in day-to-day -day life, right? Um, well, don't, don't forget, when you get, you get stuff like that, uh, you know, hurricanes, the people, that natural disasters, the people that come out to actually help are the ones that would help anybody else. During a normal day without without a natural disaster. And sometimes, the ones that want to, don't want to help people, they don't help shit. And sometimes, they listen, don't. you can have the most racist people in the world and yeah. they see them black family stuck on the roof yeah. and they'll do they'll they'll go help them. Yeah. Even though they're racist on a day to day basis. Yeah, but they're still willing to help you. Something these other kicks in. Not willing to help anybody. It's like something kicks in. Um, just like when I see these people rescue an animal, a river that's just out of control or whatever. I've seen people risk their lives. Yeah. Not to rescue I rescue their it. pet that they love. I they see it. the animal is in trouble and they'll yeah. do it. Yeah. Uh, we, I mean we're talking about kindness because I don't think obviously we have enough kindness in the world of course not um, that's a given another thing I've learned in my life is people that are not kind to animals or do not like animals um, tend to have other issues I got a finger for you from the experiences I've had in my life oh they do they do they have other issues I've always seen people that are animal lovers tend to be kinder towards other people uh, not that not people that own a dog because they love that dog because it's theirs. They possess it. But it's not the same. But they'll shoot a neighbor's dog. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but people that are just kind towards animals, I think there's something about them. Um, and they'll show that kindness towards other people as well, don't you think? I would hope so. The chances are pr pr pretty high, I would say, assume. I think it says something about a person when they do have that in them to be kind when they see an animal needs help or another person needs help as opposed to those that can walk away. Sadly, there are many people that are very religious. Should I do the quote, unquote thing? I had the re yeah, religious, right. religious yeah. that um, don't, don't, don't show that kindness, unfortunately. Well, don't forget Not that, uh, that a lot of these diehard religious people, God supposedly gave them the world and all the animals to do as they please. Supposedly so, they figure, yeah, whatever, we can do whatever the hell we plan. There are people that just are so good about destroying. Uh, when I see these pictures, these game hunters with sitting on top of an elephant they just shot, <sighs> is that manly? You have a weapon, the elephant doesn't. <laughs> right? And You didn't go mano a mano with a tiger. Right, you shot him with a gun. Well, look at um, the guy. It's, it's what do they call a finger for you. What do they call this guy? The lion whisperer. He goes out. Wild lions. They come up to him. They lick him all over the place. He's all friendly with him. And the hyena. And the hyena. Hyenas, too. The hyena yeah. too. Yeah. But I, when I see these, and I know some of these people think they're macho because they just blew away a lion or a tiger. Like I said, you didn't go mano mano with them. You didn't yeah. wrestle them. Why don't you put that gun down? Put the gun, yeah, and exactly. then you go. One on one with him and see who wins. Here's it's a lot of people talk about gun control this, gun control that. You know who should be kept from having guns? These assholes that go around killing animals are totally different. Just, These are people just that because cause they can destruction. These are people that there's got to be something wrong something with you there. when you take pleasure in killing yeah. something, a, a, a creature 
that's just trying to live its life. It's trying to live its life. That's all it's trying to do. It's trying to survive, live its life. And you take pleasure in just murdering it. Yeah. Um, so you know, we're talking the... We're, you know, we're a site about depression and mental health. Um, I like bringing up these examples so people also think of who you should stay away from. Because I strongly believe in this. Anybody, anybody out there wants to disagree with me, that's fine. Every, we all have our right to our opinion. If you know someone who's not a good person, I don't care if it's a member of your family. And if you're struggling with something, uh, sometimes a distance from that person um, is probably the best thing you can do. Like I said, I've seen these people, man. I've known these people. And mistreat animals. Kill animals. Yeah. Kids that would will go BB gun shooting squirrels, killing squirrels for fun. Yeah, uh, I was a, and, and if anyone wants to say, well, kids are kids. Okay, I was a kid. No, uh, we yeah. didn't do that as kids. For, for you parents that have a little shit like that, and your defense for your kids, well, he's a kid. I was a kid. Yeah, I didn't do that. So your kids are a little shit. I sure wouldn't. Uh, and uh, usually, psychos. Ones that do school shootings and mass murder. Guess what? They a big trait of theirs. Or animal cruelty. Animal cruelty. Yeah, that's right. So you know what? If you have a kid like that, maybe you should keep an eye on your kid. Yeah. And Here. not go from a BB gun to buy him a handgun. Here, here's one famous or a rifle. exception. Oh, Ulysses S. Grant. Back then, he did kill animals. Just like he didn't hunt. When he was a kid, he didn't kill defenseless animals. But then he grew up, became generally called him the butcher of Manassas. Well, I think what we should do is get back to Be, the... Because of, you know, the war. Well, we're but he, here's somebody who never, never did that. Well, I'm just talking about those that take pleasure in taking another animal's life. Pleasure. Not for food. Or torturing an animal. Or torturing them. How do you get pleasure in that? Well, there was these uh, two... Uh, I forgot. I, I don't remember their names. It was on... I saw them on YouTube. These two went up, uh, they found a uh, mother bear with her cubs. Is this a great story? Yes. I don't want, oh. they, if this, these two brothers, I think they were brothers, they found this, this den where the mother bear was and the, the uh, uh, cubs were hibernating, and they shot them all. These, and then they, they, they filmed it. Would you trust this person in your life? People like that in your life? We have so many ways of looking at people and seeing what they're about. When we have to interact with them, and I can honestly say, I believe this 100%. Anyone who abuses animals, who believes in murdering them just for the pleasure of it, there's something wrong with you. I don't think you're wired correctly. No, there is something wrong. Uh, and if you claim to be religious, God created all heaven and earth. First place, you should be the number one environment, environmentalist on the planet, protecting God's work. Usually, not the case. Um, to kill, for example, hunters that hunt for food, they will not shoot anything they're not going to eat. They'll take whatever they're going to eat for the season. I don't hunt. I don't agree with hunting, sorry. I don't so. hunt. I don't hunt. But I could understand that. But people that kill for sport, trophy hunters, yeah. um, you're just, you're not wired right, man. There's something wrong with you. Maybe they'd like to be hunted. There's something wrong with them. There's something wrong with them. That fat son of a bitch that you see those photos with the elephant. He was from one of these fast food places. Um. Well, maybe he should stay away from fast food. Yeah. Because he looks like he's about 350 pounds. Yeah. Hard to tell which one's him, which one's the elephant. Yeah. Um, well, you get that, pleasure. You get... If you look at an elephant, you look at a, an animal running free, how do you get pleasure in just taking that animal's life. Yeah. How can you get pleasure in that? Well, not just an elephant, a tiger. Well, so you, just, yeah. you just don't hang around those type of people, and let's get back to the kindness, yeah, because this is what we are there's too here many to talk about. Out there. Okay, we're not just talking about kindness, we're also talking about unkind people. Well, no right. people. Okay, their, no actions, their actions matter. And if it's someone related to you, oh, but, but so-and-so is such a nice person, they'll get around to you. They will get around to you at some point and screw you over because people like this are not wired correctly. No. But I re really recommend that we have no problem recommending other YouTube channels because if we see something is good, man, we'll tell you, hey, oh, watch yeah. it. Go, go to Dodo 
Especially that is great. If you're feeling kind of down, right? Yeah, but right. you're in a good mood. You know, go to look, watch. And it's not just animals being rescued, things like that. It's oh, funny animals. It's funny. Too. Falling oh, yeah, down the steps like or... That, uh, that cockatoo, that white cockatoo. Oh, it, it's just... I don't oh, know if that's on the door. It shows you how intelligent either. animals can be. And loving. And, and loving that they can be. Like, oh my God, did I just see that dog do that or that bird did that? That bird had a full... I mean, it, it's, 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 it's incredible. And, and also different species... Becoming best yeah, friends. Yeah, interacting. Becoming best friends. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what's great. I mean, you would like like a, a, a bear and a and a little um, duck. Yeah. You know, you think the bear would scoop up or that an, duck or, or, and they're like best friends. Or a mama cat with a bunch of chicks. Yeah. On top of her. And yeah. she's taking care of them like they're kittens. Well, there, there was... I mean, it's just amazing. It is. There was one where the mama cat had a bunch of... They brought in a, a, a skunk. Uh, a little uh, yeah. baby skunk. It's, and it's does the different. cat hook him in? Yeah. And then, and so, then, wait, one more. The guy who had all those raccoons that came up on the porch oh, and fed them. them all. There's like, what, 50 raccoons, and they were all over him. They were nice. They weren't biting him. Nothing this, was rat. Nobody was rat. Yeah, he, no, he named no, no every single one of them. Oh, yeah, he named he them all. Feeds them. They were well fed. Feeds them hot dogs. Yeah, they're like this big, but they're they were, well they were, fed. They found and some they grapes, too. come at every time that day, that, that spend, night. That must have been an awful lot It just feel good stuff. You know, exactly, and that's, that's the point, right? If sometimes... You're bored, tired of watching TV, you know, shows and this and that, or the news, which, let's face it, can, can really bring you down sometimes. Check out, like I said, Dodo is one. We're not, we don't get paid for it. We don't, we don't know the people. We don't, we, well, it's just that we watch it. Yeah. Uh, Dodo's very big, though. You gotta have a lot, they have a lot of them. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I guarantee you, you're going to feel really good. You'll smile, you'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll you go through all the emotions. And check out what uh, is from it? watching this. Cougar and Messi or whatever the hell they call the channel. Uh, yeah, Puma, Puma, Puma Messi. Yeah, there's just like all that. kinds. Just get on. But he's got a whole series about that about that cat, yeah. which is kind of yeah. weird. Cats are sort of like a dog. They're pretty um, good. I know they're very good. People have rescued donkeys. They've, re I mean, baby elephants. I mean, it's just you name it. They, they and they're in them. the house. They have bears in the house that live in there. I mean, all kinds of you stuff. You know, it just goes to show too. We're here to, to share this planet. Uh, we should be protecting the planet, protecting wildlife, protecting our environment, not uh, destroying. Not destroying it. And for those that take pleasure in destroying, man, one thing there are too many of them. Uh, there are just too many. And surprisingly, um, what I've found, especially as far as animals go, taking care of animals and animal rescue and stuff, it's not the religious people that are doing it. It's the non-religious people. It doesn't really matter who... Uh, it, no, it, it's, it it's does matter because you got a lot of people that are into religion, but they don't give a shit about anything else. All, well, they, care, all they care about is John 3.16. They can do whatever the hell they want. When they die, they go to heaven. They there don't are, care about the world. There are religious people that are very there are some, kind yeah. as well. Yeah. Of course there but, are. But um, the only problem kind. I have with a lot of them is about the environment, that they don't seem to care about the environment because, yeah. you know, it's like it's theirs to destroy. Well, that's, um, I'll give it to them. You know, if, God, if God's, God's our Father, right? God's your Father, He would give you something and want you to cherish it and take care of it. Um, that's what I would think. But that's what we've done. We've rescued animals, our pets, except for our Labradors. They're all rescues. Yeah. They all live. All of mine. They all live very well. I'm surprised they let us live in the house. <laughs> and they control the house. <laughs> we pretty much, pretty much took care of every. That's okay, everything. though. That's okay. But um, yeah. you lose your spot when you get up. If you get up and go get some water, they, they take your spot. So you don't want to move them, so you have to reposition yourself somewhere else. <laughs> They're on it like that. You know, like they, you know, I like I, I don't get sleep because of these animals. They have to be on top of me. Or, pay for and if someone says babies. you're a fool for that, all I have to say to you is, yeah, you're probably right. I am. No, you're not you a are. fool. That, yeah. That's why I don't let them in my room when I go to bed. Oh no, they have to. Other than and the, win, the wimpy, the dog, he's got his own little bed there. So yeah. I mean, like I said I'll earlier, I have I, love it. I have a big fat black cat that likes to be covered up, so I cover him up. And when I roll over my sleep, I wake up because oh, is he uncovered? And I go back and I cover him yeah. back up again. Yeah, that's a good um, feeling. You know, but we know they're living long, healthy lives, and they're happy. That's and, the biggest um, thing. Happy and they healthy. rely on us. Of course. 
and we see it as that. They rely on us, so we're going to do everything we can for them to be happy because they're God's creatures too, right? Well, they're my babies. Right? They're God's creatures as well. So if they rely on us, of course, we're going to do everything we can to take care of them. Huh. We also, I, I, we do have um, a tweet we posted on our Twitter page. Uh, for anyone running an animal rescue, um, if you would like to, you could email us. Or you can direct message us on Twitter if you're a, tw or a Twitter follower. Mm -hmm. And let us know what you're doing. And we would like to put a story about you on our website for free. We're not trying to yeah. sell you anything. No. We would just like to help you out to get exposure for what you do. Because we appreciate those that... Um, you know, are, are doing that, that are rescuing animals, have created rescues, and put even, so much time and effort into it. Even if you'd like to write something to post on the website. Yeah, you can write it. Or write it, whatever. You, know, you, yeah. you, if you want to do it, you could write it, give it to us, and we'll post it on our website, because we have 170 countries go to our website. Yeah. And we're not trying to sell you ad space or anything like that. We'll post it for free. Mm-hmm. Link, just for you to get exposure. Put a link to your organization. Yeah. If you're just a, a regular old individual with an organization, give us a short bio. Yeah. You, you uh, provide us. Your, uh, yeah, you provide us the information. Media. Yeah. All we want to do is give you exposure. Because yeah. if you're doing good work, we'd like to we help it. get the word out to we help you. It. Because I know it's a lot of work and you need money. You need funding because animals need to eat. Oh, yes, they do. Uh, they, need to, they need care. They need vet care. They're a lot of And that lot is of extremely expensive. Need pens. Oh, uh, need, really. you know, fencing. Need, there's yeah. so much you need to do when you have a rescue. Um, so we're willing to, more than happy to help out for free. But please, reach out. You can direct messages, like I said, on Twitter as well if you don't want to email. Or just go to our website. Or, or, just, just, go go to, to or, website. or just go to the website and contact us. Uh, so that's Anything good. else? No. Be you kind work. to animals. Be kind to people. Be kind. If you're not kind to animals, maybe you should start thinking about changing your ways. Because odds are, if you're not kind to animals, you're probably not kind to everyone. Humans either. Uh, no. I'm pretty... I'm going to say you're no. correct. It seems. It just seems to work that way. i got 58 years under my belt. met a lot of people. So and I, it doesn't take that. any effort to be kind. To, well, to really for some people it takes no effort. For some people it's wow. uh, the thought, too, of this. Kindness is weakness. Yeah. I'm not going to be kind. I'll come across as weak. Yeah. No. Not being kind. Comes across as weak. Is weak. Very. Helping other people, helping animals. Oh, it's just wonderful. Being kind, that's showing strength. When people Huge need strength. you and you, you're there. And you show up. Yeah. Not showing up or being detrimental, that's weakness. Completely. So, folks, thank you for tuning in today. This is short. We just wanted to talk about that. I thought about this because of how tired I am from my pets. And we also, last night, Shannon and I watched many of these videos on the animals. Yeah. And loved them. Good. Some we go back to and watch three, four times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we go over and watch them Especially over and over. Especially the bird one. I, whatever. Yeah. There's a ton of them. We watch anyway, them over and over. Get, get, look into it. But, uh, again, again, reach out to us. Thank you for, follow, uh, for watching. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We appreciate it. Uh, appreciate the support. And follow us on Twitter as well. So um, we'll talk to you again soon. Take care. And take care and be well, Bye. everyone.